guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share a recipe of mine. It's a pico de gallo salsa. And when I first had homemade pico de gallo salsa, I assumed that it was really complicated because I had it at my sister-in-law's house and she is an amazing cook and I just assumed that everything she makes is so amazing that it would just be difficult to do. Uh, but it's really not. Once I looked it up and tried it myself, it's a really easy recipe. And I put it on top of tacos, I put it with chips, and it's just an easy snack or an easy appetizer. So if you have people coming over and you want to just make something really quick and really easy and really delicious, this is the perfect recipe. So let's get started. For this recipe, you're gonna need three tomatoes, one white onion, two jalapenos, cilantro, one lime, and two teaspoons of salt. Take your tomatoes and dice them up. I like to remove the seeds first so it doesn't get too watery inside the salsa. Next, you want to finely chop your jalapenos. If you like your salsa spicy, then go ahead and leave the seeds in. I like to remove the seeds from one and leave the seeds in the other, so it's kind of a medium salsa. If you like mild, remove the seeds and the veins and rinse it out a little bit just to make sure you don't leave any of that residue on there. If you have not been using gloves to handle your jalapenos, then when you're done, make sure you wash your hands. You don't want to get that in your eye. It's happened to me and it is not pretty. Next, you wanna chop your onion and add about a quarter cup. Take your small bunch of cilantro and roughly chop it and add it to your salsa. Take your fresh lime juice and add it. I usually only need about a half a lime if it's a nice and juicy lime like you see here. Add your salt, mix it all together, and pop it in the fridge for one to two hours. You really wanna let all the flavors mix together before you serve it. So that was it. I hope you give it a try. If you do, please leave a comment below and let me know how it went or if you liked it. Uh, I'm gonna be sharing lots more recipes in the future, so definitely subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see that and lots, lots more. Thanks so much, guys.